Key stakeholders at the one-day public hearing on the new bill to repeal the Customs and Excise Management Act 2004 and replace it with the Nigeria Customs Service Establishment Bill 2021 have lashed out at its inconsistency with global best practices. However, Chairman of the Committee, Honorable Leke Abejide, insists the bill uh, be thoroughly scrutinized before it is submitted to the House for further legislative input. The bill, according to the Speaker, Honorable Femi Bajabiamila, and the Chairman of the House Committee on Customs and Excise, is to reposition the customs towards better service delivery and to remove lacunas that have crippled the effectiveness of the service in revenue generation. The ongoing need to diversify our nation's economy to improve income from non-oil and gas sources. It is also evidence of the need to use the instruments of legislative authority to promote policies and enact mandates to encourage investment, enable commercial activity, and promote enterprise in the country. Ensuring that the Nigerian Customs Service operates optimally in executing its statutory functions without corruption and malfeasance of any sort is essential to achieve these other objectives. And this is what we hope to achieve with the bill under consideration. Notable legislative initiatives in this bill are as follows. A. Collation of all customs and excise legislation into a single compendium of customs and excise act to facilitate its reference and its knowledge-driven customs and excise policies. B. This act will position the Nigeria Customs Service to be financially stable in order to recruit the required number of officers they need to man our porous border stations. The Nigeria Customs Service recently currently have 15,349 officers, according to information made available to us, instead of 30,000 officers needed for the service to function optimally. Custom and Excise Management Act is a convention. There are protocols and treaties. They are not domestic laws. Nigeria entered into conventions, treaties, and protocols. And what you have in this bill are domestic laws contravening all the protocols and conventions. So this bill does not withstand it. It's not a domestic bill. There are trade bills, there are procedures. And all those procedures have not been met by that bill. The contemplation of an autonomous customs service is in abeyance with extant laws regarding the Treasury, supervision of the Treasury, and all agencies which remit funds to the Federation account and the Consolidated Revenue Fund. In line with the Finance Management and Control Act, Federal Ministry of Finance, Budget, and National Planning is the relevant authority charged with the responsibility of ensuring compliance with the custom and excise legislations regarding trade and fiscal policies, and where appropriate, apply other relevant provisions applicable to goods subject to such measures. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.